going to talk to you a bit about MOSFETs. Here's an IRFP830 uh, connected into the circuit, which consists of 12 volt light bulb, a lead acid battery, and the light bulb is connected across the source and the drain of the MOSFET. And then I've got another lead going to the gate. So here they are I've got a gate lead, the minus of the battery, and the positive of the battery. Um, MOSFETs are basically field effect devices, which means that if you change the charge on the gate, you can switch it on or off, but it can also be in intermediate states if the charge is not completely right. And in that case, the MOSFET will start to heat up. So I'm just going to, I'm going to show you how sensitive this is. So I'm going to take uh, just my fingers and put them across the gate and the positive of the battery, and it should uh, allow current flow between the source and the drain. So let's go and have a look at that. So here we go. There we go, it's full on, just by touching it like that. Now, do the other thing, we'll touch the negative and make the uh, charge on the gate more negative, and that turns it right off. So, let's do that again. So sensitive, my fingers are not even wet and it's working. So here we go, on, off. And if you do it a little bit, like if I just touch it just a little tad, you can switch it into an intermediate state. Whoops, overshot there. It's hard to do that. Let's see. It's pretty much an all or none, but I've seen it where it's just glowing orange. And then you can get a lot of heat build up in the MOSFET because uh, you don't have zero point switching there. You've got basically uh, incomplete uh, switching of the MOSFET which provides a resistive load and which heats up the MOSFET quite a bit. So anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, if you like uh, more videos like this, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.